what's up haunters it's steel vico and uh today i have a uh n sort of update video build video different from some i guess i mean then again all my videos are different technically but whatever um so uh this video is gonna be covering a lot of things uh might end up uploading a couple parts to this video this weekend no promises but uh so first of all I made a a thing with the Rising Reaper. It was like a a joke kind of a thing of reskinning. So uh, I'm just gonna put a quick clip of it here. I've cut out a lot of it because it wasn't. Uh, I don't know because I don't think it it should have had its own video. Even though I made my own video of it, I need to use my foot to hold it down or my hand. I guess you can see he works. If you guys want me to make more of those, I guess I can, but, uh, I thought it was kind of stupid, but whatever. Anyway, on to the next part. Um, so, uh, I have a few surprises and stuff I am not going to reveal, but, um, one of the things I will reveal is we got a fan at Goodwill for $6. You might be wondering what I got that for. Well, uh, what we got it for. We're actually going to be making an animated character with it, or attempt to. Um, I've seen several videos. People will make characters move with a simple fan. Um, so we're going to take it apart, and uh, we might have that. We might have more of that in the video, uh, or in this video, or a separate part of it. So we have this fan, and we're going to be doing some stuff with it. So it should be pretty cool. Um... We have, uh, well, so there's Roswell, there is Eddie, um, we have Fungus Face, Molten Monster, um, and Ice Cream Man. And you might be like, what's the significance of them in general? Which is kind of a question that um, would be pretty much impossible to answer with the way I'm about to answer it. Which I just said, yeah, this was really stupid, but whatever. Just being really obvious. Um, so, that's when I realized that I basically didn't realize it. But my new characters basically have a theme. Um, so that means that there's going to be a separate area. And I'll be talking about this in some of my build videos, which you guys can expect soon. Um, like, you know, setting up my haunts, haunt, is I realized that there's a separate, we have a separate area picked out for some of the new characters anyway, and I didn't even realize this, I just realized this today, that I got a new theme going on, so like a separate part of the theme, and that is basically freak show, because we got a clown, who's like crazy, so that's a freak, right, you expect to see that at a freak show, you got a cyborg, that's obviously, that screams freak show, kind of. Uh, especially Fungus Face. Like, Fungus Face definitely does. Um, Molten Monster, you might say, could be considered that. You know, like, if it was, like, trapped or found by scientists. You know, you got, you got the Ice Cream Man, who's just a creep himself, selling c concessions that are just scary. And then you got, you know, Roswell. So, you know, he's alien autopsy. Could be Area 51, but... Spirit Halloween did it last year, so, uh, why not do... And even if Spirit Halloween did a Freak Show theme, if any of you guys know it, please tell me if Spirit Halloween ever did do a Freak Show theme. Not sure if they did. Um, but if they did, let me know. It doesn't really matter, it's not gonna affect it, but I think that's less current, so then it will seem more new for me, I guess. Sounds kind of weird, but makes sense in my head, so it's alright. <laughs> so, uh, I have to introduce a new character... That's, um, what basically I'm going to be adding, and he is Hanging Clown. Uh, I haven't been able to come up with a cool name, like one of those joke names yet, um, based off an entered costume, like, you know, the entered costume I made that, uh, I don't know if I told you guys about that, but he's going to be, like, hanging from the garage, and he's going to look creepy because he's going to be, like, hanging, looking, not looking down, but, like, hanging upside down, and I know I've seen, like, props before, 
that look like that, but they look like really bad because they try to make their their face looking like upward and their arms and it just looks really bad. So I'm going to have it like he's just hanging purely upside down. And that might look a little weird, it might be tough to do, but I feel like it should be pretty cool possibly. Um be the the tough part of it is I'm afraid some of it might fall down, but we'll probably be able to come up with a solution for that. Um so that's him. Uh, I just realized I had to switch around. His number is actually 10. So this is character number 10 uh, of the Haunt Seps. So, uh, yeah, Triskull Grave Guardian. I just want to address him real quick. Um, I'm thinking I'm actually going to do, like, still add him this year, even though we don't really have the trend. It was kind of one of my last-minute ideas that didn't get incorporated last year. So I think I'm still considering putting him up if we have time. And who knows, it could be really simple to, you know, add. So chances are you might see him. Um, he might be one of the first to be put up because of his simplicity. Um, but, yeah. So uh, he's actually number 10. So, you know what? I'm going to do something new. And I am going to have a little... Um, contest keep in mind the prize isn't going to be like you know the prize isn't going to be you know like money or anything it's not going to you you technically won't receive anything i will mention you in the video uh in the video in which i reveal it but uh you know it'll be just a shout out nothing major but at the same time you guys won't really have to do much just put some thought i guess if you want uh put thought into it like, at max, it might take 30 seconds of your time. That's, like, at all. That max. But basically, I'm going to have a contest. So, a week, uh, you guys have a week until after this video is uploaded. And anytime within that week, before the deadline, I want you guys to list, or not list, give me... Uh, like, in the comments, say a name, like, a, a, you know, like, a funny name. For example, like, the cyborg guy was Eddie. Um, like, a funny name for this guy, or maybe a fitting name, like, might have something to do with Ennard, or Five Nights at Freddy's, or Clowns. Anything like that. Put it in the comments down below, and I will pick my favorite, and that will be his name. So, I'm thinking I might actually make this, like, a yearly thing. I'll make a character that you guys will get to name. I might even make a character you guys will design. I know... It's a bit like HTJ Halloween, but this is just off the top of my head, and I can't come up with a name, so I thought, why not? It's not like I'm making any money for this, so... Guys, have fun with it. His name's probably gonna be awesome. So, anyway, that's that's that. Alright, so, um, we have... Uh, there's another character. Uh, Witch Doctor. I just drew this up now, except for I had the idea for her, or him, a while, like, a while ago. But, um, so basically this would be, be utilizing the fan, like this would be the main purpose of the fan. And, so basically, we take some kind of robe, and this is a very bad rough drawing, but Witch Doctor was actually the ninth character I came up with, uh, since the, uh, Haunt Seps was created. So, uh, it's, it's technically before the clown guy, but he didn't. I, I didn't write down which doctor. So basically be a robe. May, might have legs. I think that might be, look kind of cool if he had like the kind of like bent legs that are like um, a towering clown or something. Possibly if I could pull that off. And then its main thing would be it'd be like holding like a head, a skull, or you know like a shrunken head or something like a witch doctor. And it'd be like moving around on the fan like like in this kind of a motion. And then I think that'd look kind of cool. Might have some some odd music or laughter playing in the background. And the reason I came up with this idea, well, is because one, I wanted to have a character that was like holding a head because I kind of thought that'd be kind of cool because I know that there are like props that are holding like cats and kids and stuff. So I was like, I'm pretty sure it's already been done before, but I'm like thinking, why not? So also, it's this mask. Will be the witch doctor mask. It's actually pretty big. My hands are small, but like. In comparison to this mannequin head is still a little bit bigger. So, um, uh, this will be the head for it. I think it should look pretty neat, uh, if we do it correctly. Definitely better than this drawing. <laughs> but, you know, uh, 
that's that'll be um that'll be witch doctor so that'll be the main purpose of the fan probably